So welcome back to the Gambia. We're here in Brufut and it's this is a community run forest. So they build hide for bird watchers and stuff like that. And all the money goes to the upkeep of the forest and protect the land. So it's a really nice little project they've got going here and it's nice to support it. Links for everything will be in the description. So if you ever come here, hook him up. So today we've got the Canon C70 and the 100 to 500 RF. I've been really enjoying this combination. You know, it's maybe not the sharpest, um, you know, high detailed camera, which sometimes you want for wildlife, but the picture coming out of it and the dynamic range is really nice. And having internal NDs and everything else, having a dedicated video camera is something that I really needed. counted maybe over 10 maybe more you know maybe 12 13 of them they weren't all here at once they were obviously passing through the troop was just going through so you had the adults first then the babies and they kept looked out for each other calling that alarm call they do oh, lovely one was bathing in the water having a scratch on the on the concrete where the pool is Oh, beautiful animal and it's so nice because a lot of the time I'm here with birders so I love seeing mammals and different kind of species instead of just birds obviously Gambia is famous for birds but yeah it was really nice treat a uh, troop of banded mongoose really nice so close as well I think there were three or four young uh, and then some adults and stuff all taking turns having a little drink and then walk off Maybe they'll come back later. Maybe they're off to hunt some cobras, who knows? But yeah, real treat. Oh, very happy with that. And I've been here, I don't think I've been here 20 minutes yet. And we already had that. So that's a good start. Um, very good start. And uh, hopefully they come back. And I'd love to see the youngsters playing and have a bit more interaction. I did notice I had to be very careful moving my lens 
you know they're very skittish as soon as they saw that front of that lens move they would alarm call and you know be alert and the one on the side was telling the others to be alert and then as soon as they do that they all sort of jump up and I'm ready to alert so yeah what a treat eh what a treat mongooses Pikmin King Fisher a nice place Beautiful. Oh, and he's gone. Yeah, African striped ground squirrel just come. Had a little drink. Quite common species you find here. I think there's three types of squirrel here. The um, Gambian sun squirrel, which are more on the trees and the striped ground squirrel which was that one and i think there's another one red red legged ground squirrel or something like that where i think you find them more inland oh, mosquitoes have been eaten alive here Flycatcher, long red tails. The male has a white stripe on his shoulder and a longer tail, more colourful, more beautiful. And when they go to drink, they So, my, um, my taxi's nearly here, uh, I've got to leave in a minute, uh, sun's, yeah, about an hour away till sunset, but the taxi is the only time you can pick me up, so I need to leave, uh, that was really nice, using that pre-record and with the Kingfisher, loving that C70 pre-record where I can just pick a place in the water, because the, both the red-bellied um, flycatcher and the uh, African pygmy kingfisher both dive to drink like that, so they go in and out very quickly. So you sort of pick a spot in the water, hold focus, 
and then I've got my waveform button here, custom button four, uh, set to record. It's only two second pre-record, I would like a bit more, but when they, they come in I can just push that button, I get that two seconds before and hopefully catch that action. I got it a couple of times but I didn't have much chance because they weren't here for that long. I think give it another you know a day or a constant action I could actually get some really you know pinpoint zoomed in a lot more and get a nice shot unfortunately you can only do it up to 60 frames I'd love to be able to do it in like super slow motion in 120 frames because then you get the real action there um, but you know it's better having it in 60 frames than none at all so it was a good day I would have liked to have seen a bit more something a bit spectacular like a Turaco or but uh, the red belly flycatchers were nice. It was good to test out the C70. Loving it so far. It's been a... Oh, I'm still recording like an idiot. Loving the C70 so far. Really nice image quality to comment quality out of it, you know. There's just something about that picture that looks, dare I say it, cinematic. But it does, you know. It just gives a nice image and... The, very easy to grade as well and uh, yeah been enjoying it so far and I can't wait to test it out some more and uh, do some more proper feature length films with this hopefully but until next time peace